on this video I'm going to show you about the new data explorer which is uh, greatly improved uh, from the last version you can find data explorer on this tab and here is the list of all the types of databases you can access with uh, with it on this version uh, you can find uh, support for fiber and I'm going to to set up a new connection so you can see how it works uh, using modify connection here are all the basic parameters we can modify and I'm going to uh, use a, a simple database that comes uh, with fiber examples and build and the database is employee fdb employee fdb now you can use test uh, connection directly from here to check if uh, everything is working okay and also you can set up uh, a lot of uh, advanced parameters directly from here for example the SQL dialect or any other property you see okay so here it is and once the connection is set up we can open and check all the tables views procedures and so on also you can drop down or expand uh, a table and check all the fields, in indexes, and, and things like that. Now uh, I'm going to show you that uh, you can right click any table and retrieve data from table. Here is all the data, it's on, on the table. And this is a mod module open on the ID, so uh, you can switch and, and so on. If you modify, uh, the, the table data you can right click and use update and rollback you see and also if we try to close this page uh, we are asked about to save changes or, or not and we can just uh, use save to commit the changes to the database so once we reopen a table here is the modification we are going to leave things also you can for example right click um, a connection and use the SQL window which shows a visual uh, query builder and you can for example drag and drop tables as you can see the relationships are uh, stored on the database so um, are automatically added if you switch to the data tab you see here the results of your uh, SQL query and also you can switch to the code to see the uh, SQL that is uh, generated if you save this SQL you can for example reopen and because of this line there is a comment line here this specifies to the ID the connection that uh, needs to use when you switch to design so as you can see we are getting the visual design also you can modify by hand for example adding an alias alias and once you switch to design this alias is used and you can do a lot of things uh, with this and there is no need for you to, to know a lot of SQL to, to get or to create nice uh, SQL sentences now we are going to set up a MySQL uh, connection this is a there is a MySQL server set up on, on this machine localhost, scommerce, root and test test connection and ok so here are our, all the tables SQL window I'm going to for example I'm going to make
make a SQL role description. I make a link between probes uh, ID and I'm going to see the model quantity name and uh, URL. If I switch to the data tab, here is all all my results. This is a multi-language um, uh, table, so what I can do is to, for example, uh, specify that the ID equals to one, which is in this case is English. Okay. If I let's uh, do it by code, for example, three. You see the results are parsed here. I get uh, a different language. Or in this case, for example, two. In this case is uh, German. Uh, another thing you can do with uh, Data Explorer, let's close this one is to drag and drop uh, things or items like fields, tables and so on to a form. In this case let's create a form. Notice that until uh, all the PHP part is not set up there is anything here because there are no components loaded on the ID. These two combos uh, allows you to select which controls are going to be created when you perform a drag and drop operation to uh, a form. In this case, for data sets, we are going to create a DB grid. For example, if we want to show the product description, just drag, drop, and we get created the database, the description table, and the data source. All components are connect, uh, as you see here, and there is no need for you to set up anything. And we are going to run this PHP. And here you have your table in a DB grid. Also what you can do with this is create a, an SQL. We are going to show more or less the, the, the same query we were building and uh, we are going to link this and select the quantity and name. Let's check. This is what we want to show. So copy this SQL and now we are going to drop here to palette we are going to use a query component here and set up the SQL on the right property. Set up uh, active to true. The database is the DB of commerce and we are not going to limit the results by anything. And now the data source which is linked to the uh, DB grid control we are going to use the query and Let's run. Okay. Now we have here the results of the query we have designed visually, and there is no need to type any SQL for this. So, as you can see, we have uh, greatly improved this. Uh, uh, part of uh, the ID, so there is more integration with data and uh, there are more visual operations uh, you can do. Okay, bye.